Our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida, is Bayonet Point Middle School in Newport Ritchie. Our Sean Stryker is out there live this morning. And Sean, this school is known for its strong STEM program. They are, and they actually, uh, they handed me the reins here, controlling this, the little robot. And I'm, <laughs> the, when I first started, it went flying off the table. Um, they laughed, but they then gave me some instructions. And we're getting the hang of it. Uh, but hey, you know what's really neat? Uh, STEM isn't the only hands-on learning experience going on here. This doesn't look like your typical history class. No, it looks like war. These sixth graders are immersed in a lesson referred to as an active learning unit, or ALU. It takes what the kids are learning in the classroom and applies it to real life usable situations for questions that technically don't have an answer yet. Here, the students learn about the Battle of Vicksburg, a fight during the Civil War. With the information they gather from this war, they determine a stance on the issues the U.S. faces with North Korea and Syria. They either back the United States going to war with these countries or they're against the United States going to war with these countries. And what they're going to do is create a presentation which is supposed to appeal to Congress because Congress is who declares war <laughs> and um, state, state their point of view and relate it to what we learned in class. The classroom is converted to bunkers, sides of troughs, flag and hill, a cannon, even a river with some barriers like barbed wire. The landscape is based on a painting the teacher found of Vicksburg. So you can place yourself in on the shoes of citizens during the war. It makes them think outside of the box, where if you're just answering questions out of a textbook like traditional schooling used to be, you're learning facts, but they're actually learning how to think and how to be creative and incorporate different things together so that they can come to good solutions. Yeah, so that's obviously a really cool way to learn. Out here, I'm still trying to learn how to control <laughs> Oh man, the robot ball, as I have nicknamed it. I'm going to hand it off to the pros over here. I want to tell you about something else they do here. STEM Lactic, it's called. And basically what it does is it gives students the opportunity to choose how they learn different lessons. So the end goal is the same. The destination is the same. But the road to that destination, well, they're all different, which makes sense. Because if you think about it, different students well, they all learn differently. I know I do. Some people are hands-on learners, like these students out here. Some might learn better when through reading. Some might like to watch a video. Uh, and they have the opportunity to not only learn different ways, but to choose for themselves how they're going to learn that lesson. Hey, we got a lot more to uh, show you out here at Bayonet Point Middle School. We're going to be out here all morning. Make sure you're watching both on Brightside and Facebook Live, because we're going to get that going in just a minute. What? You, this is, come on guys, we gotta, gotta work together. Sean, you win some, you going. lose some. I'm gonna learn how to draw, yeah. Yeah, I, well I definitely lost this one, that's for sure. I think, I think so, I think so. Those kids are bright and we look forward to seeing what else you have in store for us this morning. There are so many amazing schools in the Bay Area. We love featuring what's happening in your classrooms. You know best, so reach out to us. Let us know what's happening at your school. Send us an email to 10schools at WTSP.com.